Great job, Zach. Well, in a sea of state championships, one particular team may have gotten lost, but certainly not forgotten. Here is more on the Allen County Sharks. It's the best team you may have never heard of. The Allen County Sharks, over 20 seasons strong now, are six weeks into their season and are looking for another trip to state. You heard that correctly. This team is a former state champion. I'm always a believer in success breeds success. So when you win, more people want to play. Uh, when you win, you probably get better talent, frankly. We also just have good players right now. We have a great coach in Adam Stolle who understands the game and can convey a message to these guys. And um, So it, it's a perfect storm. The Sharks are Allen County's Special Olympics basketball team. There are no tryouts, but this team maintains a standard of excellence. Some bring talent with them. Johnny Wilson, who was a member of the Lima senior team that went to state, cherishes the opportunity to continue the sport he loves. Because there's not many kids with disabilities playing with regular people as far as on the basketball team. So that's what made me play for the Special Olympics. Joe Brown is a longtime member of the Sharks and says the team gave him a sense of purpose. It felt so good when, when they, I joined the team and I wanted to prove, I wanted to show my skills and everything. And I frankly, it was, this was something I wanted to do for my entire life because I wanted to be a part of Special Olympics. I wanted to do something because I had hardly nothing else to do in my life. I wasn't much of a anything good at basketball or anything, but as soon as I started learning about it and watching it on TV, I started falling in love with the game. John Wade, one of the coaches on the team, wants the community to be aware of not only the existence of the Sharks, but also of their success. I have a passion for underdogs. That's, that's kind of where I fit in here. And I always want the underdog to get their deal. And that's, I, I just want to make sure that, that the message is out, people are aware, and the opportunity is available for them to come and visit and, and, and see um, some great basketball and some good people. Adam Stolle, also a coach on the team, as well as a former standout high school, college, and semi-pro basketball player, jumped at the chance to take this challenge on. Uh, John Wade, who is the co uh, coach with me, brought to the attention of a lot of folks in our office that there was an opportunity to coach basketball at this Special Olympic level. And I just was just kind of joking around, and I responded to him and said, hey, I'll do it if you do it. And... Uh, here we are. So <laughs> that's how that worked. The guys that we have had and that we have this year, they don't complain. They just want to get better at basketball. They want to win. They want all the things that are great about, about basketball. And it's really joyful. I mean, that's the only word that I can really pull from it. Community support is building, and it positively impacts the players as it builds. Be, having the fans there for special limits, it means a lot to me, and it helps me grow to become a better ball player and prove that I can do what I can to do a lot better, help this county become a better team and everything.